Hello, it is New Year's Eve. We are back from Texas. We're back home in Los Angeles. Happy to be home and now I'm just trying to get ready for term two. I'm trying to get all of my life, content creation, mom stuff kind of as an order as much as I can before we jump into this next term. Feels like term two is basically already starting, so. So one thing that's on my errand list before I go back to school is to do a deep clean of all of my daughter's stuff, including all of her stuffed animals because uh, baby. Yeah, yeah, this baby Oski here really needs a bath. And baby. Yesterday he got covered in tamale masa, so that's great. Um, but I really wanted to tell the story of this toy. If somebody would let me tell the story. <laughs> I actually received it from the admissions office at my welcome reception. And I thought it was so thoughtful that they gave this to me. They gave it to me and a couple of their classmates that also had really small children. They had prepared it in advance and I thought it was so, so thoughtful. And that was something that made me feel like, wow, if they can take care of me as a student, even half as good as they're doing right now, then I'm gonna be in a really good spot. And I gave it to her when she was less than a year old and um, she's, she's been obsessed with that baby Oski. Baby Oski is loved in this house, but he definitely needs a bath. I'm making a matcha. Got a new matcha whisk for Christmas. But what I wanted to say at the end that I didn't get to finish saying was that I applied round two for Haas. And while my overall advice is to just apply when you're ready, when you feel ready, when you feel like your application is strongest and complete for you, of course, that should be number one. But, but if you can, you're kind of sitting there in the fall, like, mm, maybe should I, or actually maybe more like the summer. If you're in the summer, like, mm, maybe should I, should I do this? I highly recommend trying to aim for round one or round two, basically as early as possible for a few reasons. One is, of course, you get to be sort of like the building blocks of how the admissions team builds the class, but also because there are more opportunities for scholarships, because if you wait till the very end, then all of that stuff already gets kind of passed out. And then, and then it's hard, it's hard to find things to support you and even outside scholarships, like most of the outside scholarship deadlines, they wanna know where you're going. And so the earlier you can apply, the better. A lot of the other schools I saw had rolling admissions. So you just apply when you're ready. And then there's kind of like the set time period from when you apply to when you'll hear back from them. Um, so there wasn't like a, they had some dates to sort of like guidance, but really you could just apply whenever. Uh, Haas was one that was more like a little more structured in terms of the, the deadlines. If anyone would be interested in having like an admissions tips or the application part of the process guide, let me know down in the comments. That'd be something. I'm not the expert by any means, but I did go through applying to three different schools. Um, so hopefully I can offer some helpful advice to you guys if you are in the application process. So the whole crew's having a bath here and uh, baby Oski lost his arm. <laughs> oh no. So uh, yeah, we'll have to go in for surgery after this. Good morning, it's January 2nd. Woke up early today to do some prep work for term two. We're going back to school in like eight days, which is crazy. I haven't done any of the assignments or reading yet. Uh, mostly just wanted to get organized today, download all the syllabi, prep my to-do list. Uh, I also made a vision board, which was really, really nice. That's something I always wanted to do, to just like, I think it's so important to have a visual representation of what you're trying to accomplish. So I worked on that last night and yeah, here we go. I have to get back home so I can get started on my work work and 
yeah eight days eight days and it's starting again it's gonna be crazy so just trying to enjoy these last slow moments before we jump back into all the the good crazy times Friday, got up early today to head to a coffee shop and get some studying done. Uh, we're heading back to Berkeley next week. Can't believe it, it's coming so fast and I'm very behind. Uh, our whole family was sick and we had this stomach bug that just like wiped us out. So, been a little behind on the reading but finally feel better today. I have to say I'm kind of excited for this term because I'm genuinely interested in all of the things that we're studying. Uh, finance, marketing, macroeconomics. Uh, macroeconomics is definitely something that I never would have thought that I'd be excited about. Um, I grew up in a small town. We didn't have much money growing up, or any money growing up. We were definitely a paycheck to paycheck kind of family. And so, I mean, my parents gave me a lot of things, but uh, financial literacy, personal finance, those weren't on the list. <laughs> That's something I've had to learn along the way. And yeah, I mean, you hear these things in the news, right? Like inflation, we're in a recession, the Great Recession. Uh, and I think as millennials, we've been through all of these things, unfortunately. But it sort of felt like I'm just this tiny boat in a giant ocean of a storm. And I'm sort of at the mercy of whatever is happening. But I never really understood, understood exactly why these things were happening or what caused these things. And yeah, and I think macroeconomics is going to help me better understand that. So I'm excited. I'm, I think we should, we should learn about this stuff, right? It's like what affects the world around us and it's good to get educated. So yeah, I'm, I'm being perfectly honest and frank, but I don't know enough about these things. So yeah, this should be, should be good. And the other subjects too, I'm excited to, of course, learn about marketing. That's what I do. So I'm excited because it's like more directly applicable to the things that I do in my job. So that's exciting. And finance, again, your girl doesn't have financial literacy, or at least she never did growing up. So <laughs> I'm excited to understand more of the world of finance and how it works in the business world. I guess that's it. <laughs> I want to say I was kind of hesitant about becoming an iPad user as a student, but I've been really loving it. I love being able to like draw and write my own notes in the margins of the books. I love being able to like highlight. I love that it's so light and portable because I usually try to go somewhere else to study because in the mornings my daughter really wants to play. That's when she's so active and it's so hard for me to not want to play with her too. So I usually have to go somewhere else and so it's it's so light to just grab that and throw it in my purse and go. And yeah, so if you are a millennial like me who's going back to school and you're like, iPad, notes, what's that? Highly recommend you try it out, test it out. Or, or older than millennials, you guys come back to school too, it's fun. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's been kind of a kind of a game changer for me and so I'm excited to also just keep keep like learning what else iPad can do I'm sure there's a thousand tools that I'm not using because I don't know about yet so if you guys have suggestions on how to like better utilize an iPad as a student let me know yeah and you don't need some fancy iPad you don't need the pro it's like I just I got the iPad Air because it's light I'm all about not having to carry heavy heavy stuff <laughs> so yeah just get a simple iPad try it out it's, it's working for me.
So one thing that's really nice about Haas is that if you want to talk to a student, they let you. Some of the other programs that I applied to, it was a little more difficult to get a hold of the alums or current students, but Haas really just opens the door and, and asks you like, who do you want to talk to? Do you want to talk to someone that's also going to be a commuting student? Do you want to talk to someone that's also a parent of a young kid? Do you want to talk to someone that's in your industry? You know, they they really try to personalize it and connect you with people that have some kind of shared experience to you. Um, like for me, I wanted to talk to other minority women. Um, I wanted to talk to moms. I wanted to talk to people in entertainment. And so they really help connect you with the right people. And so I was really excited today that I got to talk to a potential Hasi who lives in LA. She works in entertainment. And yeah, I really enjoy these kinds of talks. I love sharing my experience. It's an easy conversation because I'm really loving it, you know? I wouldn't do this if I wasn't excited <laughs> to be in this program. But yeah, so that's a, another part of the EMBA experience is helping bring the next wonderful class of EMBAs, helping put that together. So yeah, just wanted to share that experience. We're back for term two. I don't know what that was. We're back for term two. It's Wednesday evening. Uh, I just checked into my hotel room. Normally I am able to check in earlier in the morning, but it was busy around the hotel. And so we didn't get a room. Most of us who got here early didn't get a room until the usual check-in time. So I think I pushed my luck a little too far last term. Recap on what happened today so far. So, you know, left LA early, flew to Oakland. I usually do LAX to Oakland. That's just what's more convenient for me. And then took an Uber over to the hotel, got here, saw some of my classmates already here working hard. So I did a little bit of, a um, little bit of work, a little bit of studying, a little bit of just life stuff and yeah then my classmate laura and i went to go check out this conference that was happening for the oh man i'm probably gonna get this name wrong the berkeley center for culture and workplace innovation i don't know if i got that right if if not i will put the correct name right here but they had a conference today and we went to that heard some cool talks about about AI. Um, there were some talks about DEI as well as the hybrid workplace, but that happened in the morning and I wasn't here yet, so I'm kind of bummed I missed that. But yeah, I, I just love how much Berkeley cares, not just about the quantitative skills, but also the people side and really trying to be at the forefront of making sure that we're treating people correctly, basically. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed being able to sit sit in and listen to that conference a bit. Laura and I were supposed to go hiking. I was really excited. I love hiking in January. There's something about like the new year and being out in nature, just ah, it's so good. But it's raining, it's been raining off and on all day. So instead we went to a museum, um, which is right around the corner from the hotel. Walked by it every day to class, but hadn't gone in. And so yeah, it was really lovely. We saw some really cool art. Um, it's free for Berkeley students, so if you're a Berkeley student, take advantage, stop by. They do movie screenings too, which is cool. They had a really cool collection. It's like a really eclectic collection from older art to modern art, but it still works. You know, it somehow still feels like a cohesive collection, even though the styles, the types of artists, the times, it's, it's all over the place plan for tonight for me. I'm going to go grab dinner with my classmate slash friend Stephanie. Uh, we're running for VP of alumni together. So we're going to work on our little speech. We have to do a speech tomorrow and we don't know what we're going to say yet. So we got to figure that out. It's a two minute speech, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, but that's what we got to work on. And there's a group of my classmates that are going to another Warriors game. So if you saw our earlier vlog, uh, I think that was block three. We went and did a Warrior, Warriors game trip and it was so much fun and I think 
a lot of people who didn't go the first time were excited and wanted to check it out too, so I'm sure they're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. Uh, we'll see what random message appears <laughs> on the big screens for us. Other than that, again, just kind of chill night, get some dinner, maybe try to do a little bit more reading for class tomorrow because we have a long weekend with a lot of a lot of quantitative classes and formulas coming our way very soon. So, bye. I'm so excited right now because we are doing an election tomorrow for some of the VP roles. Um, so there's two types of VP roles. There's appointed VP roles and there's elected VP roles. The appointed ones already got appointed at the beginning of term one. The elected ones we're just gonna vote tomorrow. Uh, but we didn't have as much interest. So most of the roles, they were really just either one person or one set of people that were running for that role as a team. And so the only real voting that's happening tomorrow is for the president. We have three candidates and somehow it's been decided that we're having an unofficial official debate tonight at 9.30 p.m. in the Ashby room. I've decided that I must go as a member of the press. <laughs> I just, I love the spontaneity of this and I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I'm excited. So, let's go see what's happening downstairs. Reporting live for the Nightly Ashby News, this is Chrissy Estrada. I'm here with Brian to get some live commentary on tonight's debate. Brian, how are you feeling about tonight's three constituents? I'm feeling great. It's gonna be a win-win-win, unlike the rest of the world. We're all gonna walk away feeling happy with our candidates here, but you know, it's gonna be back in Ashby. Still high energy today. It's kind of a ruckus crowd. Um, I don't know. Curious to see the issues. I actually don't know what they're gonna say. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. So, I don't know. I will put a smile up on your face. Wine and dine, got a ticket from the toll, but you find in the way that you killing every angle is a crime. Never play the mind games, make it known that you mind. If they trying to read the room, this is more than the vibe. Get up, girl. I like it's your birthday. There's nothing like vlogging to quickly humble yourself. I always feel so fresh and cute in the morning, but then I look back at the footage of me after a class and I'm like, dang, what happened? <laughs> Nine hours of stats, accounting, and econ. That's what happened. <laughs> it's officially the first day of class for block two. I'm excited to get back, get going. We had a lot of fun last night getting uh, into this presidential debate of 2024 feels very appropriate and I think we're having a lot of fun because of this year. I don't know what this year holds for us as a country so I'm glad that we can at least laugh and enjoy in this election. <laughs> but the plan today is, well we have a whole new set of classes this term. So the classes this term are part two of building trust-based relationships, we have finance, we have marketing, and we have macroeconomics. So those are our new classes for the term. Today is macroeconomics, finance, and then our third block period or our third class period is going to be teams at Haas, 
which is this program that Berkeley has to help your study groups bond, learn how to work together, align goals, and since we haven't really met since the beginning of term one with them, we're going to do like a realignment today to talk about that. But I, I love my study group, so I think it'll just be fun to like have an excuse to sit together and catch up. <laughs> but that's the plan for today. And I'm really hungry. I'm going to go get some breakfast and then head up to class so I can get a good seat. I'm always kind of late getting up to class and I always end up in the like the seat I think that nobody wants in the front <laughs> so I really want to sit in the middle also so I can get a good view for the vlog for today for today's beaches but yeah that's the plan We're done with class for today. Finished class kind of early. Uh, our last class of the day was Teams at Haas. So this is like a class where we reflect on our study groups, kind of did like a health check, realign goals. Um, it was nice. I think our, our study group's pretty peaceful. So it was a nice little exercise. And so we met with individual coaches to do all of these, uh, steps this workshop and so they kind of split the cohort in two so half of us met with the coaches and then the other half waited and then they go next so i think we were kind of lucky we we're in the first half <laughs> so we're done a bit early um, but tonight we're doing a welcome event the program office is hosting a welcome back term two event we're going upstairs to study hall, which is the rooftop bar restaurant at the hotel. And we're just gonna enjoy drinks, food, karaoke, I heard. I'm really excited to see <laughs> people's inner karaoke spirit come out. <sighs> so yeah, I need to think of a song to sing. But um, I think I'm just gonna call my family, check in on them, call my baby, I miss her, and take a rest and yeah, get ready for this little shindig tonight. breakfast and a matcha <laughs> uh, but today is gonna be another class day so our classes again are finance we have macroeconomics and we're doing our first marketing class today so that's the plan and then at night I'm having a lovely dinner with my study group the sleepers and <laughs> inside joke and we're gonna go grab some ramen so I'm excited it's been kind of cold and rainy off and on this weekend so ramen sounds perfect and that's that's it i'm so hungry i'm gonna go okay bye i didn't see that we
<laughs> about to so film. what are we doing today? We're gonna do the Ashby Room. I think this will be episode six at this point. Yeah. What's your I, podcast uh, about? I interview fellow students such as Chrissy, um, and we just talk about career, uh, what they're looking for from an MBA, but also, um, you know, with your unique background, how did you get to where you are? A lot of us have very interesting careers, like doctors, uh, lawyers, accountants, engineers, um, and business leaders. So, uh, very, very interesting. Uh, check out, check out the podcast if you get the chance. Awesome. And who are you? I'm Edward Chan, born and raised in uh, San Francisco Bay Area, and um, yeah, just a fellow classmate. That we were living worlds apart, I should have known, known from the start, that getting to wrap up this block. It's Saturday morning, it's raining, and it's our last day of class for this block, for block one of term two. Nothing crazy today on the schedule, just regular classes. Um, so our three classes today, and that's about it. I think after that, most of us are gonna be heading home. I have a flight tonight um, after class, heading out from Oakland back to LAX. Uh, so this morning I was just packing, getting all my stuff together. I think I'm going to carry all my stuff up the hill to the school so that I can leave straight from the classroom. Um, normally if I have more time, I'll just leave it here at the hotel. They'll take care of it for us, come back and grab it, then head to the hotel. But number one, my flight's a little bit close to the end of class time, and two, it's raining. Uh, I think it's going to rain all day, so yeah, just need to figure out how to get it up there once and then I'll be heading back home to LA to my little baby. I'm so excited to go see her, give her a hug. Um, but that's it for this vlog. It was a really good vlog. It's so good to be back and I think we're all feeling super excited for this term. There's gonna be so much going on and yeah, I think we've got a good, good adventure ahead of us. So yeah, okay, see you next time, bye.